Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our high probability pin bar trading strategy in depth, and how we use it in combination with price action. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell, so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Pin Bar Candlestick Pattern The easiest trading strategy that every trader must know. The pin bar, also known as a pin bar candlestick, is one of the most talked about price bars or candles in trading. This is because it is sometimes a relatively reliable signal that a sustained directional price move is about to happen, giving traders an opportunity to enter a new trade at a low risk compared to the potential reward. At the end of this video, you will understand what the pin bar is, how to identify the best ones, and how to use them to trade successfully. And now, what is a pin bar? The actual pin bar itself is a bar with a long upper or lower tail and a much smaller body. You can find pin bars on any naked bar chart or candlestick chart. We use candlestick charts because they show the price action the clearest and are the most popular charts amongst professional traders. Many traders prefer the candlestick version over standard bar charts because it is generally regarded as a better visual representation of price action. Pin Bar Structure Let's understand a bearish pin bar and how it formed. Phase 1 After a strong extended uptrend has been in effect, the atmosphere is bullish. Phase 2 The price opens and trades higher. The bulls are in control. Phase 3 But before the end of the day, the bears step in and take the price back down to the lower end of the trading range, creating a small body for the day. The long upper wick represents that sellers had started coming in at these levels. A lower open or a red candle the next day reinforces the fact that selling is going on and sellers have now taken control. Basically, pin bar is a reversal pattern. But, however, the pin bar can be traded with or against the trend. There are two types of pin bar. First, bearish pin bar. Second, bullish pin bar. Criteria to identify valid pin bar patterns. Pin bars, even though they are made up of the same features, long tail and small body, never look the same when they form on the chart. Figuring out whether a candlestick is a valid pin bar or not is a bit tricky. Luckily, there are four features a candle must have in order for it to be a valid pin bar. First, a long tail that sticks out from the surrounding candlesticks. This should be at least two or three times the size of the entire candlestick. Second, the tail can either be below the body, in which case it's a bullish pin bar, or above the body, where it's a bearish pin bar. The body should be present towards either the upper or lower extreme of the pin bar. Third, the tail should be at least three times the length of the body. Fourth, the nose should not be very long at all. If the nose is too long, the candlestick will form what is called a doji, which is a candlestick with a small body and equal length wicks on each side. A perfect pin bar will have a very long tail and a very small nose. How to recognize if the pin bar will fail or succeed. In order to be a valid tradable pattern, the pin bar must form near support or resistance levels and against those levels. This is a key point in trading pin bars. Many rookie traders will trade every pin bar candle they find, leading them to lose a lot of money. Pro traders will trade only valid setups with well-defined rules. The best pin bar trading strategies you can use. 
The pin bar is one of the most versatile price patterns in existence. You can use it on its own as a signal to take profits, combine it with support and resistance levels, trend lines, RSI divergences, overbought and oversold, Fibonacci retracements. And that's just a few of the ways. And now, we'll show you two pin bar trading strategies that every trader must know. Strategy number one. Trading pin bars at support and resistance levels. The first strategy I'm going to be showing you today is how to trade pin bars at support and resistance levels. As some of you probably already know, a pin bar is a price action reversal pattern which forms frequently in the market. It's a pattern which can form either as a result of the bank traders taking some profits off trades they've already got placed, or from getting new trades placed to cause the market to reverse. Most of the time it's not possible to figure out which of the actions is causing the pin to form, but it's not really an issue because they both usually cause a decent sized reversal to take place. Step 1. Mark the support and resistance levels on your chart. The first step in trading pin bars at levels of support and resistance is to mark all the levels you plan on using to watch for entries into trades on your chart. Step 2. Wait for the valid pin bar to form at one of the levels. When the market comes back to one of the levels you've marked, you're going to want to see a valid pin bar form. To avoid trading low probability pins, I suggest you only trade the valid pin bars. Step 3. Enter your trade. For bullish pin bar. First, look for valid bullish pin bar candles near support levels. Second, place a buy stop order at the top of a bullish pin bar candle. Third, place your stop loss below the tail. Fourth, place your initial target at two or three times risk taken. For bearish pin bar. First, look for valid bearish pin bar candles near resistance levels. Second, place a sell stop order at the bottom of the pin bar candle. Third, Place your stop loss above the tail. Fourth, place your initial target at two or three times risk taken. Step 4. Closing the trade. Exit trade could be done whenever the market makes a new high or low. If you've placed a sell trade based upon seeing a bearish pin bar form at resistance, or after the market makes a new low or high, if you've decided to place a trade after seeing a bullish pin bar form at support. Choosing when to close the trade completely really comes down to whatever your own personal preferences are. I always try to hold my trades open for as long as possible, but I know that a large number of traders like to set targets to close their trades at predetermined points, so really it's up to you to decide when to close your pin bar trades. Here are other examples of trading pin bars at support and resistance levels. Strategy number two, trading pin bars at Fibonacci retracement levels. You won't get as many trades as trading them at support and resistance levels because retracements don't occur that often. But the trade you do get will have a higher probability of being successful, which still makes it a worthwhile strategy. Trading the pins is simply a matter of waiting for the price to hit a retracement level and then seeing if a bullish or bearish pin bar forms. 
In this example you can see a sharp decline caused the price break through several retracement levels before reversing at the 61.80% level, resulting in a bullish pin bar forming. After the pin appeared the price reversed entirely, rising almost seven times risk taken. Note. Only trade bullish pin bars that form at retracements drawn on upswings and bearish pin that form on retracement drawn on a downswings. The following steps will help you identify and trade the pin bars at Fibonacci retracement levels. Here are other examples of trading pin bars at Fibonacci retracement levels. All in all, the pin bar is one of the most effective price action strategies you can use in the market. It's easy to spot and trade, making it an effective strategy for beginners and professionals alike. As always, if you learned something new or felt it was helpful for you, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.